Welcome to educate.com. This, this video provides the basic knowledge of data warehousing. When we try to understand data warehousing, the obvious questions posed are What is a data warehouse? How did the data warehouse come into existence? What purpose does it solve? How do we create a data warehouse? Now what is a data warehouse? To understand, let us consider the example of a banking system. In order to manage millions of accounts, the bank has to maintain loads of data. For implementing any new business idea, the bank has to analyze the data across different locations and base its decision on this data. And hence, the data should be in a format that allows their business analysts to have clarity of the account holders and their transactions. Now where do they obtain all the required data from? The answer is an obvious, a data warehouse. We can therefore define a data warehouse as the storage area for processed and integrated data across different sources, which could be both operational data and external data. A data warehouse allows its users to extract the required data for business analysis and strategic decision making. Let us look at what other definitions people have attributed to data warehousing. Bill Inman says, A warehouse is a subject-oriented, integrated, time-variant and non-volatile collection of data in support of management's decision-making process. Ralph Kimball had said that a warehouse is a copy of transaction data specifically structured for query and analysis. Conceptually, a data warehouse is a home for second-hand data that originates in either other corporate applications or some data source external to your company. Formally, a data warehouse is a standalone repository of information integrated from several possibly heterogeneous operational databases. Now, how did the data warehousing come into existence? Let us take a look at the history of data warehousing in order to understand its evolution. Before 1970, data storage was paper-based. There was no automated system available then. In the 1970s, to a very small extent, the key elements of mainframe data were copied to tape and loaded to files. Somewhere towards the end of 1980s, Islands of data were pulled together into a distributed DBMS. It was only in the late 1990s when these islands of data were copied to a common location and data warehouses were born. Data Warehousing One should understand that data warehousing is a process and not a product. Data warehousing is the process of creating a well designed information management solution which enables informational and analytical processing without the barriers of geography and organization. The process of creating a data warehouse is quite complex and requires high levels of understanding on the business area for which the data warehouse is being created. The basic process followed is firstly, Defining a clear architecture. Estimate and plan for the data warehouse's storage capacity. Then integrate the servers, storage and clients. Then design the warehouse schema and views. Then design the physical organization and access methods. Then define the metadata and populate the repository. Then connect the sources, gateways and the ODBC drivers. Then Design scripts for the data extract, load and refresh. And lastly, design and implement the end user applications. Thank you.